How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel. Now, tonight, yeah, they dropped two showdown players because that's what showdowns are. They're player versus player, and if they win their team, they get a plus two upgrade. So, Lamar can go to an 88. Rudiger could also go in the eight. If it's a draw, it's an 87. I know what some of you guys are thinking. I've seen it on Twitter as well. A draw in the Champions League, how does that work? Because there's two legs, there's a way goes, there's this, that, the other. It's the one match, boys. If it's a draw in like the 90 minutes or the 120 minutes, that is what it's decided on. And the loser stays at this card. So we're going to review uh, Lamar today. We'll actually do Rudiger in the morning, I do believe so anyways. But lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do, man. You bring that second, you smash that like. You subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And you drop a comment. What do you think of Lamar? Is he good? Is he worth the coins? Because these these SPCs, Rudiger and Lamar, they're an 83 and 85 team. They're both very expensive. And you're looking at like 200k on the, the Xbox, about 210 on the PlayStation. So I want to get your thoughts on these SPCs. Are they massively overpriced in the showdowns? Because you remember last time we had Zinchenko and we had Herman. Lads, they were obscenely priced. Uh, I know Zinchenko got the upgrade in the end, I believe he did anyways. And Zinchenko's a very good CDM. After using him multiple times, I found his best position was a CDM. However, they were very overpriced SPCs. And I'm wondering from you guys, is this the exact same? Now, the one issue I see with that right there is the medium to medium work rates. For me, it doesn't work out wide. I did try him out wide in the final match. So, lo and behold, he actually did ah. Absolutely nothing, and uh, I'm not surprised by that because for a wide player, I think you need like a balance. And what I mean by a balance is a high attacking work rate. Because if you're not getting forward, what's the point of sticking out wide? You know what I'm saying? Especially in like a wing row where you can get in behind defense and stuff like that. Lamar with his medium medium just does not do that. Uh, so the perfect position for this card, I believe, is a cam. He's got a good set of stats. Now, what I will say about his stats is they're not through the roof, but. With a chem style, it goes through the roof. And if you should get an 88 card, your stats could possibly improve even more. Uh, his strength is really low. It's only 63. His aggression is 73 as well. He's not very strong. And he did get pushed off the ball numerous, numerous times. He's got anywhere acceleration, 89 sprint speed. Phenomenally fast in this game. And that is very good. Especially if you couple that with the agility and dribbling being uh, effectively 99 and 99 with the chem style attached. It's actually really, really good. In terms of shooting, he's got 86 in second position, 84 finishing. Uh, going to 99. If you believe in chem styles, or if you believe the boost to be true. Uh, he's got 88 shot power, going to 98. 86 long shots, 85 volleys. His shooting is actually really well balanced. And it's really good for the card as well. Because with a four-star weak foot, you can shoot on either foot. So whether it be his left, which is his preferred foot. Or on his range, it really doesn't matter. His passing is really well balanced too. From the crossing to the vision, 86, 84. He's also got 84 short pass, 88 curve as well. To bend it around the fences. 84 free kicks if you want to try and bend it beyond the wall. Uh, dribbling. 93 agility, 88 bounce, 82 reactions is very low uh, for a lot of different cards in this game. Reactions are somewhat important. Uh, 90 ball control, 89 drilling, phenomenal right there. And uh, 84 composure. In terms of the physicality, stats on the cards. You're looking at 80 jumping, but again, he's like 5 foot 7. He's not going to do too many jumping. If he does, he's got 50 hit accuracy. So you're not going to use him in that sense or that role. He's got 86 stamina. It's not going to get depleted anyways with the medium, medium work rates. And I've seen no issues with his stamina regardless. It was his strength had issues with, you know, 63 and 73 aggression. It just felt way worse than that. Uh, once he got shoulder to shoulder with someone, he was losing it instantaneously. It was almost like he had possession and then the possession's gone. It was out of his uh, control instantly. It was just it was bonkers at times. So, again, one of the questions will be, would he be able to use him as a centre mid? Maybe in a, a free man midfield? Yes. But only for the box to box. He's not going to defend too too well due to the defending category. Of course, on right on the screen right now, you're seeing the finesse shot traits, which he does possess, which is one of the best traits on the game periods, and a very useful one at that. But lads, we're gonna have a look at his gameplay right now. Let's see what he had to offer in foot champions. So here we go on into the gameplay, and initially you show me what he had to offer straight away. Now this is him in the camera. Like I said, the third and final match. We actually put him out wide. He did absolutely nothing. By the way, Manchester City just got... I'm not saying this in another commentary like yesterday. Hit the post in his first game, and I thought that signified kind of what he's going to do. He's going to get in behind the fences with one-twos. And again, I've seen this because he's not really bursting beyond them naturally because he's got a medium attack and work rate. So what I needed to do was do the one-twos to trigger. Here I tried to get it onto his left foot. 
It's actually too close to the keeper. It's actually a good save in the end. What a header, but it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, he's actually a really good playmaker from that role too. So if I win the ball like here, I've got options. His passing was phenomenal. As uh, evidence right there into Dybala. <laughs> the guy moved his keeper right in front of where the ball was going to go. And uh, Dybala still dispatches it past him. So again, he did get the assist, Lamar. I think he got for, um, yeah, two assists, four goals in the three games. Well, technically two games. Like I said, the third and final game where he did play as a left midfielder. He actually literally did nothing. Uh, that was such a boring match, actually. Uh, we actually do a nice little triangle here. Work it all the way through. He's got the pace to beat the centre back, and he's got the, the prowess, the finish, and the shot power to beat the keeper. And the pace to actually get into that position. So it's a great finish by him. And of course, the four star weak foot to finish because it doesn't go unnoticed. He's a lefty. He's a lefty, boys. Uh, what I mean by that is he's left footed. So lefty, left footed, it's the exact same thing. But um, yeah, he finishes on his right there. So he's very comfortable in going either way. It's like having a five-star weak foot with this lad at times. Um, he's very comfortable passing with his right foot. Again, evidence right there. And again, he'll get another assist off this. A nice little uh, Rabona there from Jal Felix. And a nice little finish as well. I think it's like a fake Rabona or something like that. But this is a very, very effective skill move. And again, another great piece of play by Thomas Lola. And so this is what he does. He gets involved. And now, when he's out wide, he doesn't get involved. That's why you need these medium-medium players central so they get the ball they get involved and they get going and they get high fives albeit from themselves but uh yeah he gets them involved in the central region whereas out wide you're on a counter attack he's got a medium worker he's like should i get involved should i not should i just labor behind and he goes for the latter you know he kind of labors behind he'll the hill there he does move his keeper and we smash it in at the near post this game was actually a gold bonanza i think it finished like eight six it was literally incredible, boys. Literally incredible. But Lamar actually did impress me. Is he impressing me enough for the price? I think we're going to discuss that in summary. But uh, he is a usable player. But he's got, like, there's better alternatives for cheaper on the market. Literally, on the market, at the same club, in the same position. Look at Carrasco, guys. I think Carrasco gives you each and every single trait and everything that this guy has to offer. Whether it be... Uh, the shot power, whether it be the dribble and the unique dribble, and whether it be the pace, Carrasco has everything Lamar has, and arguably more. Carrasco's a really good card in this game, but Lamar, I'm not too sure. Lads, let's get in the summary. So there we have it for Thomas Lamar. He got a showdown card for his match against Chelsea. Of course, Rudiger did get the Chelsea cards, and um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I was excited when I seen this Lamar, man. I seen his stats, I thought... Wow, they're great to be manipulated in certain areas, where it be if you want to play him in a more creative player, increase his passing, increase his pace, increase his dribbling, engine, literally perfect. Whether you want to play him as more an attacker, give, give, give him chances inside the box, finisher, sensational. If you want to play him striker, hunter, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's got durable stats where you can mold them into whatever position that you want him to play in with a chem style. And I looked at that and thought, wow, this could be tremendous value for coins. It's not. It just simply isn't. When you compare him to other alternatives on the market, yes, he's got good links. He's French from, uh, of course, Atletico Madrid. He links to Jao Felix. He links into uh, Luis Suarez. He strong links into Luis, Luis Mendy. Uh, uh, Phil and Mendy, of course, uh, the Real Madrid left back, if you want to uh, go for rival versus rival right there. But he's got sensational links in this game. Again, if you want to hybridize it up and get a French team, uh, you might already have Coleman in that position. Do you have Coleman in that position? Uh, the... I think it's a UCL, maybe um, a team that's Sornman one. But again, it's it's very difficult to say it's worth the coins because I don't believe he actually is. He's a great looking card. Does he translate over in a game? Yes, he's got quality. He does have quality. But <laughs> the price. It's the price, man. These showdowns. I think the corner 40 would be like as an 88. As an 88, would he even be 210k? I'm not too sure, man. I'm really not too sure. In terms of overall rating for Thomas Lamar, I'm going to give him an 8.6. Yes, that's a six. It's not an eight. It's a six. Um, I've seen what he's got to, to offer. I've seen what he has to offer. And I've used what he has to offer. But he's very one-dimensional. I honestly think he can only play calm. Uh, striker, work rates, unfortunate. Left mids, work rates, unfortunate. Even Lamb in a 4-2-3-1. I don't believe he can actually play that position. But for me... Is a central player and nothing but a central player. In terms of value for coins, 7.3. I don't see the value whatsoever, but I do see value in it looking at it from outside areas. Hence why I did see a comment yesterday saying, uh, I think with 7.7, .7, I gave like Edison Cavani and said he's just not worth the coins. But 
that's my personal opinion that whether he's worth the coins, but I'm looking at it from your guys' opinion too, you know what I'm saying? And just like weighing up the options, whether I was, say as I was coming through Open Team, maybe I had an abundance of coins, maybe I didn't have a lot of coins. It all depends on the club situation, but I try to take into consideration those things when I'm doing the value of coins and entertainment and stuff like that. And genuinely, I just don't see the value in this one, but I do see the value uh, for those like, like Thomas Lamar and uh, maybe doing a La Liga squad. You could definitely fit in your team. Uh, but again, go tradable, go Carrasco, save yourself some coins. Uh, in terms of enjoyment, 9.0, he was actually good as a cam. Left midfield, I would have given him a 1 out of 10. He was terrible, he never got the ball. And uh, he just didn't do anything. He's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot, which is obviously a benefit. Medium, medium work rates. Traits being finesse shots, and he would start for the main foot channels. I wouldn't bring this guy on off the bench to change the game, because I just don't believe he would. Chem style, finisher. Just realized the mistake there. It's not the finisher logo, but uh, finisher is the chem style I would recommend. Actually, I could twist that and see your engine if you want to use them in a different position. In terms of passes, getting eight, same for shooting and dribbling with a six for physicality. Uh, pros and cons, you got the pace, the four star combo, the shot power, agility, ball control, and passing for the pros, where the cons come in at strength and the work rates, especially if you're going to play him striker or out wide on the pitch. A similar player would be someone like a Felipe Anderson. Maybe you could argue Felipe Anderson's better. Who knows? Uh, it's just the club he plays for, Felipe Anderson. Liga knows. It's very hard to link him that kind of way. I uh, recommend the links. You've got uh, Jao Felix. Of course, the older Atletico Madrid boys from Luis Suarez, etc., etc. Follow him in if you want to go strong link. And that is something I don't re want to recommend to you guys. Because I don't want to play you guys in foot champs with Mendy and bloody Lamar on left-hand side of the pitch. Mainly for Mendy, but... I just don't want to see it. <laughs> don't want to see it. And of course, Mbappe, if you want to hybridize it off to a different uh, league. But that's just going to be it for the first showdown review on this channel from this kind of batch. Uh, Rudiger will be coming out tomorrow morning. Stay tuned to the channel for that. Make sure you subscribe. Get those notification bells on, man. Because I'm not telling you, I'm not like forcing you to do this. But notification bells are really important because YouTube doesn't always send out a feed. So if you guys want my videos, the in my opinion, the most detailed reviews on YouTube, Let's get amongst it, get the notification bells on, like the video, share it around, drop a comment, and I hope you have a great day today. Like, comment, subscribe, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you all next time. <laughs>